Today I'm here to talk to you about my hair care routine which is something that I get a lot of questions on so I thought I would take you through the process from beginning to end until it reaches this stage here which is pretty much what you see in most of my videos unless I have curled my hair. I like to have my hair straight-ish with a few curls at the end like you can see it here and uh, yeah this is pretty much how I do my hair every day. So first of all you may notice that my hair looks a little bit lighter. I had my ombre highlights redone over the weekend. My lovely hairdresser Ivan came to my house and he did the whole process here in my house. I'm going to try and insert a few clips for you guys to see. He actually redid my Brazilian blow dry which is a treatment that I get done on my hair to straighten it every four to five months. But the last time I had it done on my hair was about eight months ago before this time. So my hair was really curly. My hair is naturally quite curly and very difficult to manage and that's why I get the Brazilian blow dry done. But I'm not going to go into too much detail about that. If you want to know anything about it, um, Ivan is more than happy to help you and to answer all of your questions. I'll leave his Facebook page down below so you can contact him. He is London based so if you're around the UK he travels to your home or you can come to him and um, he'll be able to answer any questions you have about Brazilian blow dry treatment. He also redid my ombre colour so if you follow me for quite a long time you will remember um, a video that I did on my hair care routine and my ombre hair when I still had very long hair and uh, that was the first time that I had my hair ombre. The colour went much lighter than I wanted so I went back and he put a darker shade and this is the final colour which I absolutely love. Let me come closer so you can see. You can just about see just flashes of lighter colour throughout the hair but uh, I like that the top is still quite dark because I think it suits my skin colour more when my roots are dark and um, yeah it's just literally highlights and this is caramel highlights but it's a bit lighter than last time. I'm going to take you through the process of how I get my hair from zero to this. So the first step obviously is to shampoo and I use the Aussie Miracle Moist shampoo. Now I've used a variety of Aussie shampoos and this is the one that suits my hair the most. I have dry hair the same way that my skin is very dry, my hair is quite dry so it doesn't get oily until about three to four to five days after I've washed it. And I need something on my hair that will make it more moisturised and more nourished and that's why the Miracle Moist is the best range for me. I also have a few things to say about the ones that I've tried before. In particular the Miracle Shine which is good when my hair is dry it looks okay but when it's wet and I'm applying it to my hair it just doesn't glide over the hair. It just almost feels like it's like a bit sticky and I don't like that and I absolutely love the Miracle Moist. I recommend it to everyone um, that has dry hair. It just leaves my hair feeling so soft and silky. It's like nothing else. I've never tried a shampoo that makes my hair feel so soft. Then I move on to conditioner and I also use the Miracle Moist conditioner from Aussie which is equally as good as the shampoo and it makes my hair even softer and nicer to touch. So I apply the shampoo two times and then I apply the conditioner one time. The third step is not one that I do every time I wash my hair, I do it more once a week or once every two weeks and it is the um, deep treatment and I use the Aussie 3 minute miracle and I have been using this for quite some time now. When I don't use this for a long period of time and I go back to it, my hair just loves it so much and I notice such a big difference. I use this more on the ends of my hair and whatever is left on my hand I put it on my roots because if I put it on my roots it will weigh down my hair quite a lot but the ends of my hair are the part that need a lot more nourishing because it's coloured and so it needs to be deep treated. The theme that you probably noticed is soft and silky and shiny and that's what I want my hair to be. I'm not a massive fan of you know big 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 volume. I like just a little bit of, of lift to the roots but nothing too extreme. I'm more of a conservative hair kind of girl. So straight out of the shower I put my hair up in the towel and I leave it there for as long as I can because it sort of dries the bulk of it with the towel and my hair dryer doesn't need to work 
so hard. So if I'm doing my makeup, I'll do my makeup before. If I'm just staying at home, I will probably go and make a cup of tea or something, come back and take my hair out of the towel. So when my hair is out of the towel, I apply a little bit of live-in conditioner. So I'm going to put the name on an annotation down below, but I'm going to try it anyway. Schwarzkopf. Um, smooth and shine live-in treatment. I probably murdered the name, but um, you guys know what I mean. So this is just a live-in conditioner that you put on your hair and you leave it on your hair and you don't wash it off. And I like doing this step because it makes it feel soft again and not brittle and like very, I don't know, just gritty. It makes it feel extremely soft. Again, I concentrate it mostly from down here to the ends of my hair. Try not to put too much product in my roots because it will weigh down my hair. But whatever is left on my hands after I applied it to the ends, I'll just put it on the top there just to give it a little bit of shine. And then straight after, I use my tangle teaser to just brush my hair and getting rid, rid of any knots and tangles that are left but to be honest when I use the Aussie shampoo and conditioner there are literally no tangles on my hair. If I use any other sh shampoo and conditioner my hair is very very knotty and tangly and so I just use the tangle teaser just to smooth everything over, get rid of any tangles and then move on to the next step. So the next step is to apply some sort of heat protectant. Now I'm not too big on heat protectant, I know I should be a lot more careful but I just feel like they add um, a little bit of a, a sticky residue to my hair especially the ones that I've tried so far and I'm not a fan of that so sometimes I'm very naughty and I skip it but uh, yeah if I'm being careful I'll apply heat protectant and the one that I applied today was the John Frieda Frizz Ease heat defense and um, this is okay, I don't love it too much because I, like I said I find it quite sticky so I don't use it too much, I just literally spray a little bit more towards the ends um, but I'm dying to find a heat protection that doesn't leave my hair feeling sticky so if you know anything please leave it on the comments below, I would much appreciate it. Next step is to dry my hair and I use my GHD hair dryer and I have a full review of this on my blog. I'll leave the link to the review down below that you should all read to find out more about this hair dryer. Um, it is amazing, it's very powerful, it dries my hair very quickly and it leaves my hair smooth, shiny and with no frizz at all which is brilliant and I can't recommend this enough. It is quite pricey and um, if you're not too bothered about hair dryers there are plenty of hair dryers out there that will do the job. Um, but uh, yeah, if you're looking for something powerful, something really good, this is it. The way I like to dry my hair to make it extra shiny and extra smooth is to point the hair dryer down like that so that the air is flowing downwards and it's not blowing my hair up which creates that frizz um, on the top there. So I always like to blow it downwards like that and make sure that I dry not only superficially but I dry also inside the hair because um, I don't want my hair to be moist inside. The problem with doing this, the hair dryer like this, is that my hair goes a lot flatter than it would if I was just drying it, you know, <laughs> randomly. But it is worth it for me because I find my hair is so much shinier like this. So what I like to do then is I flip my hair over to the opposite side and I dry it like that just to make sure that it's not completely flat at the roots. So I do that on both sides and then with my fringe, because I normally wear my fringe to the right side of my face, I dry it to the left side of my face and that way it's not completely flat at the roots. It has some sort of, of hold up there. I don't know how it works but it works and that's how I like to dry my hair. But then I apply a little bit more of heat protectant because I'm going to go in with my hair straighteners. Now if I'm not going out anywhere, if I'm just staying at home, I'll stop there with the hair dryer because my hair is already straight. Um, considering that I've only just recently had my Brazilian blow dryer redone, uh, my hair should be straight enough that when it dries with the hair dryer it will be perfectly straight. But um, if I'm going out anyway, I like to have my hair styled a bit more, just to have my fringe styled and the ends of my hair a little bit more styled. So I use my hair straighteners from GHD as well. I also have a full review on this and I'll leave the link down below as well for you to see. But this is just a normal GHD hair straighteners and it's silver because it was like a commemorative design for something. Um, but it's your normal GHDs. This step is not so much about straightening, it's more about styling 
the hair because the, my hair is already straight after I blow dry it and so I like to, if I'm doing it thoroughly, I'll start from the back of my head on the left hand side. So I'll pick a very small section of hair from the back and I'll start right from the root and I'll twist the straightener like I'm curling my hair and I'll keep that twist all the way down to the ends and then I'll go over the ends again twisting and making sure that the ends are curled but the rest of the hair is straight but it still has that little bit of oomph to the roots because I don't want my roots to go flat and so I like to do that step to make sure that my roots are lifted a little bit more and so I'll do that all over my hair and uh, that usually takes a little bit of time but it's something that I've been doing for so long that I don't mind at all. I actually have fun. I watch a movie or watch a TV show or I'll do something to keep myself entertained. And I generally do this fairly quickly now because I've got the hang of it. It takes me about 25 to 30 minutes to do my full head of hair using very small sections. And so that will then be my style done. My tip for straightening your hair is to make sure that when you're gripping the straighteners against your hair and you're sliding it down, make sure that you don't stop in the middle or in between because otherwise you're gonna get the little kinks on your hair which is gonna show once you finish styling it. Make sure you smooth it all the way down without any stops and that way you, you guarantee that your hair is gonna look natural and it's gonna look very shiny with no kinks, no dents, no anything. So that's my tip. So after I've finished straightening my hair, I'm pretty much done and the last step is to put some sort of argan oil and at the moment I'm using the Renewing Moroccan Argan Oil from Organics and I got this from Tesco and I believe it was very very cheap. You could use Moroccan oil which I have heard is great but I haven't tried it. It just makes everything look more um, neat and tidy and smooth and also I concentrate it towards the ends of my hair. Again whatever is left I put it on the top and that is it. That is the styling done. That's all I do to my hair. I know it sounds laborious and it sounds like a big routine, um, but I don't do this every day. I don't wash my hair every day. I only do this big routine if I'm going out and about anywhere. If I'm just staying at home or doing things that aren't that special, I'll just do the first step, which is to dry my hair with the hair dryer and be done with it. And also sometimes I use a hair curler and that's a whole different story. I have a couple of tutorials already on how I curl my hair. I have a tutorial on how I curl my long hair and also how I curl my shorter hair. And um, yeah, that's about it. That's all I did to get my hair done today for this video. And uh, I hope you guys like this video. I hope you found it informative and I hope it was useful to some of you. If you have any more questions, just leave it down in the comments below. I always try to answer all of your questions as much as I can. You can also send me an email. All my details are down there. Um, leave a comment on my blog, send me a question on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and if you liked my new ombre hair and come back next Wednesday for a new video. I'll see you very soon. Bye!